what happens to the rib cage and diaphragm during expiration your options are rib cage contracts and diaphragm relaxes rib cage relaxes and diaphragm contracts both rib cage and diaphragm contracts or both rib cage and diaphragm relax the correct answer is b that is rib cage relaxes and diaphragm contracts expiration involves the relaxation of the rib cage and the contraction of the diaphragm question number 27 which blood vessels transport oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart your options are pulmonary arteries pulmonary veins aorta or coronary arteries the correct answer is b that is pulmonary veins pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart question number 28 what is the term for the physiological process that provides the body with a continuous supply of oxygen and removes carbon dioxide your options are respiration ventilation oxygenation or circulation the correct answer is a that is respiration respiration involves both breathing and exchange of gases to meet the body's oxygen and carbon dioxide needs question number 29 dear friends you are attending the most important and most repeated questions on human respiratory system these questions were repeated many times in many previous medical and nursing exams and i'm sure that you are very eager to learn and check your level of knowledge in human respiratory system and this is the part 2 of the series i'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part as the first part contains very important 25 questions that were asked in many previous exams and the link of the video has been given in the description or you can find at this i button so watch this video till end to add more information to your preparation and friends if the video is helpful then please do like and subscribe and share this video to every friend who are preparing for medical and nursing exams let's continue what is the purpose of the respiratory system's mucous membrane your options are oxygen transport filtration gas exchange or temperature regulations the correct answer is b that is filtration the mucous membrane helps to filter and humidify inhaled air trapping particles and pathogens question number 14 which component of tobacco smoke is a major cause of respiratory diseases including lung cancer your options are nicotine carbon monoxide tar or formaldehyde the correct answer is c that is tar the tar in tobacco smoke contains harmful substances linked to respiratory diseases and lung cancer question number 13 what is the purpose of the respiratory system's mucous membrane your options are oxygen transport filtration gas exchange or temperature regulations the correct answer is b that is filtration the mucous membrane helps to filter and humidify inhaled air trapping particles and pathogens question number 31 which component of tobacco smoke is a major cause of respiratory diseases including lung cancer your options are nicotine carbon monoxide tar or formaldehyde the correct answer is c that is tar the tar in tobacco smoke contains harmful substances linked to respiratory diseases and lung cancer question number 32 what is the term for the volume of air inspired or expired with each normal breath at rest your options are vital capacity tidal volume residual volume or 
inspiratory reserve volume the correct answer is b that is tidal volume the tidal volume is the amount of the air moved in and out of the lungs during normal breathing question number 33 in which part of the respiratory system do oxygen and carbon dioxide actually exchange with the blood your options are trachea bronchi alveoli or bronchioles the correct answer is c that is alveoli gas exchange between the air and the blood occurs in the alveoli where oxygen enters the blood stream and carbon dioxide is removed question number 34 what is the primary function of the ciliated cells in the respiratory tract the options are oxygen transport filtration gas exchange or mucus production the correct answer is b that is filtration ciliated cells with the mucus help to filter and trap particles preventing them from reaching the lungs question number 35 what is the role of the intercostal muscles during inhalation your options are contracting to relax the diaphragm relaxing to allow the diaphragm to contract expanding the thoracic cavity or decreasing lung volume the correct answer is c that is expanding the thoracic cavity the intercostal muscles contract lifting the rib cage and expanding the thoracic cavity during inhalation so question number 36 what happens to the diaphragm during exhalation your options are contracts relaxes expands or elevates the correct answer is b that is relaxes the diaphragm relaxes moving upward and reducing the thoracic cavity volume during exhalation what is the term for the inflammation of the bronchial tubes your options are pneumonia asthma bronchitis or tuberculosis the correct answer is c that is bronchitis bronchitis involves inflammation of the bronchial tubes leading to coughing and difficulty in breathing question number 38 which blood vessels carry deoxygenated blood from the body to the lungs the options are pulmonary arteries pulmonary veins aorta or inferior vena cava the correct answer is a that is pulmonary arteries pulmonary arteries transport deoxygenated blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs for oxygenation question number 39 during exercise what happens to the respiratory rate and tidal volume the options are decrease in both rate and volume increase in rate and decrease in volume increase in both rate and volume or decrease in rate and increase in volume the correct answer is c that is increase in both rate and volume exercise demands increased oxygen intake leading to higher respiratory rate and tidal volume question number 40 what is the role of the bronchioles in the respiratory system your options are gas exchange airway branching filtration or mucus production the correct answer is b that is airway branching bronchioles are small airways that branks from the bronchi directing air deeper into the lungs question number 41 which respiratory structure is commonly known as the wind pipe the options are trachea bronchus alveolus or or bronchiole the correct answer is a that is trachea the trachea is the tube connecting to the larynx 
to the bronchi commonly known as the wind pipe question number 42 what is the function of the diaphragm in the respiratory system the options are gas exchange filtration airway braking or muscle for breathing the correct answer is d that is muscle for breathing the diaphragm is the primary muscle responsible for breathing contracting during inhalation and relaxing during exhalation question number 43 which lung has three lobes superior middle and inferior the options are right lung left lung both lungs or none of the above the correct answer is a that is right lung the right lung has three lobes while the left lung has only two lobes question number 44 what is the role of the epiglottis in the respiratory system the options are gas exchange filtration protecting the airway during swallowing or producing mucus the correct answer is C that is protecting the airway during swallowing. The epiglottis covers the trachea during swallowing to prevent food and liquids from entering the airway. Question number 45. During inhalation, which thoracic cavity dimension increases to allow air to enter the lungs? The options are vertical dimension, enteroposterior dimension, transverse dimension or mediastinal dimension the correct answer is a that is vertical dimension the vertical dimension of the thoracic cavity increases during inhalation facilitated by the contraction of the diaphragm question number 46 what is the primary role of the bronchi in the respiratory system your options are gas exchange filtration airway braking or mucus production and the correct answer is c that is airway braking the bronchi are large airway braking from the trachea and further divide into smaller bronchioles directing air into the lungs question number 47 which muscle aids in forced expiration by pulling the ribs downward and inward the options are diaphragm, external intercostals, internal intercostals, or abdominal muscles. The correct answer is C that is internal intercostals. Internal intercostal muscles aid in forced expiration by pulling the ribs downward and inward. Question number 48. What is the term for the total volume of air that can be exchanged during the most forceful breaths? The options are tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, vital capacity or expiratory reserve volume. And the correct answer is C that is vital capacity. The vital capacity is the maximum volume of air that can be moved in and out of the lungs during forceful breathing question of 49 which part of the respiratory system conducts air between the larynx and the bronchi the options are trachea alveoli pharynx or nasal cavity the correct answer is a that is trachea the trachea is the tube that conducts air between the larynx and the bronchi Question number 50. Which part of the respiratory system is responsible for humidifying the inhaled air? The options are nasal conche, alveoli, pharynx or epiglottis. The correct answer is A that is nasal conche. Nasal conche increase the surface area of the nasal cavity aiding the humidification of inhaled air. Friends, it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions.
and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you take care